In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys Minecraft logic that makes no sense. And even though Minecraft's a game that we all love, there are certainly some things that are completely unexplainable. By the way, make sure you guys subscribe, and did you know that 99% of people can't finish a YouTube video? So let's see if you'll be in that 1%. And as always, enjoy the video. So if you put a saddle on a pig, then use a carrot on a stick, you could toggle between two items super quick and you could slow fall all the way down, which makes no sense at all. And you know what else doesn't make sense? The fact that in Minecraft, you could use a boat on land and it works perfectly fine. Like what? And just like the pig, you could slow fall all the way to the ground if you quickly jump in and out of your boat, which makes literally no sense. Now here's something that breaks all logic. If you put six wooden planks, you will only ever get four stairs, which is a complete scam. And you know what else is a scam? The compost, because you could put nine flowers to get one bone meal, but one bone will give you three bone meal. Now, if you have a trident, you're more than likely going to put loyalty on it, which will make it come back to you. But if you throw it in lava, it will come back on fire, but you won't catch on fire. And if you throw it into the end, it's not so loyal and will never come back to you. Now, we all love the ender portal because it brings us to the end. But did you know you can literally break the ender portal and somehow it'll still work, which I don't understand why the whole thing doesn't break, but sure. Now, if you jump into a boat, you're going to die. But if you fall off a cliff in a boat, it will somehow make you survive and you can literally ride around in it. And guess what? If you fall into a full block of water, you'll survive half block too. But if you fall into a cauldron with water, somehow you're gonna die. On top of that, we all know Endermen hate water, but somehow if you put them in a cauldron, they'll literally just chill there until they decide they finally want to leave. Like, what? So we all know that if you use Ender Pearls, you cannot go through a wall, but if you use a ladder and go to the top, you can actually glitch your way through the block by shooting the Ender Pearl straight in the air. And yes, I know this is a glitch, but it still doesn't make any sense at all. So if you didn't already know, seeds are probably the most indestructible thing ever. Sand and anvils will not break it, but the minute you jump on it, somehow it breaks. Like, how can I break it jumping on it, but not an anvil. And guess what? It is the exact same thing for turtle eggs. Sand and anvils will not break it. Even lava will not do anything, but the moment I jump on top of it, the egg just breaks. First of all, the fact that villagers sleep with their eyes open is weird enough, but the fact that lava will not burn someone while in the bed blows my mind. Like, it does not make any sense at all. Now, if you throw a healing potion at a zombie, it will damage it, but if you throw a harming potion, it will heal it. But guess what? If you throw a regeneration, it should poison it, but it literally doesn't. Like, Minecraft, please fix your logic now. Now, anyways, we all know that lava will set nearby objects on fire, but guess what? Magma blocks will not. Even though magma is considered lava, it will not set anything on fire. Plus, you can literally walk on it and it will damage you. But somehow, if you shift walk on it, you become god mode. Like, how does shift walking make me magically not take damage? And guess what? Can someone please explain to me how a witch magically throws their potion out of their mouth and not with their hand? So if you fall into a hay bale, you will survive, but if you fall into snow, you will die, which makes no sense because they are both considered soft blocks. So in Minecraft, if you build a fence and then put a water bucket right in the middle, water will not come out of the fence, even though there are literally holes surrounding the entire thing. We all know in Minecraft, you can punch a tree to get blocks, but this makes no sense because in real life, you would literally break your knuckles. Now in Minecraft, I know we've all made an infinite water source, but this makes no sense because in real life, it would just slowly drain until there's nothing left. And obviously, we've all done the pro dream move to use a water bucket to save our life, but did you know that if you actually fall from that high in real life, you'd hit the water and die, but in Minecraft, somehow you survive it. Also, a Minecraft world is practically infinite in a straight line, but somehow the sun and moon rotate around the world. But if you go below the world, you cannot find the moon or sun anywhere, which makes no sense because it's supposed to rotate around, but I guess it just appears out of nowhere. So in Minecraft, we have stuff such as the end dragon, an underworld dimension, and we could even make armor out of diamonds. But guess what? We still can't jump fences. Like, please, can you let us vault them at the very least? Also, the end dragon really doesn't care about physics. He can literally fly right through the towers in the end. And somehow a bed can explode and kill the dragon, which I mean makes no sense, but after all it is Minecraft, so anything can kind of happen, right? <laughs> Next up, when we're in first person, we could obviously see our right hand, but when we're standing there in third person, it's literally to our side. This is probably my favorite thing. You can literally go into a village, kill all the animals, take their bed, and even kill the villagers, and the iron golem meant to protect them will do literally nothing. So at some point, we've all been drowning, but did you guys know that if you placed a door, it would actually make an air pocket? And even though this doesn't make any sense, it can be super useful. So in Minecraft, we obviously all love villagers, but they all have these tiny houses, which makes no sense because why do they get an awful village, but pillagers get an entire freaking mansion? Like, we hate these guys. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why? And now the elytra is probably the coolest item in all of Minecraft, but the fact that fireworks act as a rocket to make you fly as fast as you can makes no sense to me. In real life, this would never work, and on top of that, how can Mojane add this, but not add freaking vehicles? But hey, we all still love Minecraft, and if you made it this far, make sure you guys comment Pog so I know you're one of my special fans.